Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics, 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, and today we're going to be talking about post-harvest pruning. Uh, and here I'm actually standing next to our 3-in-1 apple tree. It's actually been in the last couple of videos where we discussed um, this particular apple, which is our red variety of apple, that we pruned right here. If you want to zoom in and take a look real quick, you can see in between these branches that we actually um, clipped right here where we applied the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint and to basically protect and uh, enclose that seal. And this was originally about five or six feet tall before it actually branched. Actually five to six feet tall before it actually began its branches, whereas these apples, which is my Granny Smith, as well as another family favorite, which we don't have a name for it, so maybe I should put my name on it, um, but I'll share that with you in just a minute. And uh, what we did is we want the branching to occur lower so we can actually harvest our fruits in the seasons to follow at a reachable length and not um, too high above our heads. So the goal is to bring the branches lower so it'll fruit, flower, and everything will occur at a lower um, height. About a week ago, we pruned these tips off so we didn't get much growth off of this, but the goal is again to create a more bushy growth among the Granny Smith apple. And then now we're ready to harvest this apple over here. So here we are now. We're ready to harvest this apple. We know that this apple is ready because it's gone from, and traditionally, once it actually starts getting the um, the red hues and the red colors against this green apple, it's usually now developed the sweetness. And this is an apple that's both sweet and sour. Um, and again, there's no name for it, but the goal is we're gonna harvest this apple today. So we've now got this beautiful apple that we're gonna be sharing, unfortunately, one apple for all four of us here in the family. Um, but the goal is hopefully we're going to end up enjoying hundreds of apples in the year to come. I do expect this apple to hopefully give us 10 to 20 apples next year, followed by hopefully hundreds every year thereafter as the plant continues to grow and develop into maturity. What we're going to do here today is this branch that we just harvested the apple off of is now mangled. It's actually pointing in the wrong direction and going down. And what we're going to do is actually remove this entire branch off. So here we are coming from behind. If you can actually come in, I want you to see what I'm doing here. So you can see that this branch comes up. I'm following it all the way to where it originated and I can cut it here. I could also leave a little bit if I wanted it to branch out, but there's enough branches on this particular part of the apple. So we're removing it all entirely right here. What I'm also going to do, and I'm gonna to try to control the height here. So I'm gonna bring this down to actually match the Granny Smith that's behind it. And the goal again is to create a stronger structure apple. And the reason I'm doing the pruning now after I've harvested the apple is all of these sugars are no longer necessary um, to be going into the apple. So it, that's why I've waited until after I harvest it. So all the sugars that the leaves are making are going into the apple. Now I can prune it one last time before it goes into dormancy with the hopes of it's gonna grow in the next couple of weeks, creating more branches that'll ultimately create more buds that'll ultimately make the flowers that'll support the fruits. And again, being that it's now a stronger plant, it'll actually support more fruit going into next year. We'll actually remove this stem as well. I'm going to bring this all the way down here. So you can see what we've done. The last thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this actually after recording, you'll notice, you'll notice here, each of these three trunks, which are actually grafted with three varieties of apple, are actually all supported by these stakes. And what I've done is these three um, branches that are coming from one rootstock, so this is just one apple, you can see it's actually trying to make another shoot. This could be the fourth apple that I grafted to. It's all one common root. We're gonna remove the suckers, of course, and then the goal is, I might, after this video, actually shake this a little bit more while these branches are still young enough. The goal being I wanna pull the plants as far apart as I can so that they're all growing in its own respective zone. This one growing to my right, this one growing to my left, and then our family favorite, um, growing forward and the goal is to create this vase shaped apple tree with all the apples growing in the right zone We're using the stakes to control where we want the branch to be and while it's young We can still pull the branch and actually shape it and then the branches will correct themselves and continue to grow up So I'm hoping you understand that concept and things you can actually do with training as well as pruning as we just did after Harvesting our apples and the last thing I want to share with you is this product over here Which we've got painted as you saw on the on our last pruning cut and it's coated all over the tree trunk. As you can see, it's actually protecting the plant from sunburn. Apples are also um, notorious for, if there's ever days in the winter where it actually goes into freezing. So apples are notorious for actually also suffering from another problem in the winter called sun scald. And sun scald is a problem where 
Um, in the summer, if we actually have a hot day, such as like today, we're gonna be in the 90s, but in the summer it might be in the 80s, but the nighttime lows still go do back down into the freezing temperatures, it'll actually cause the bark to actually crack. And by actually putting a product such as Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint, you're actually protecting the plant from not overheating during those hot summer days in the winter so that the plant remains cool so that when it goes back down into freezing, it doesn't cause the cracking to the bark and the stresses that the plant will then endure in the years following. Um, and again, by having those cracks, it's now an entryway for pathogens as well as bacteria, viruses, and insects to actually get in there, such as the termites and beetles, and harming the inner wood um, of the plant and shortening the life of your tree. So let me actually share this product with you real quick. It's called, over here, it's um, Ivy Organic. It's a three-in-one tree guard paint. Just add water, a natural tree trunk and branch barrier, protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents. For use on roses, fruit, and nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. It's a non-toxic, environmentally safe, and organic product. Just as I remember eating when I've had this when I was 10 years old. That's how long I've actually been growing these apples. apples. And by simply taking a cutting, you can actually make exactly the same apple in your garden as well. It's such an amazing apple. I'm so happy to have this here in my garden. But again, I'll teach you more about grafting. I'll put a couple links of things I've done with grafting here in the garden in this spring, actually in the late winter and spring. I'll teach you some more techniques as well on grafting. So be sure to subscribe down below so you can be connected to all the other Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard paint videos. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening.